What is going on with the reconfiguration of the the off season, the non playing season? You were kind enough to text me from the was it the flight out yeah, here? I where your you text back to me was dead on arrival. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Our colleague uh, Breer said that some of the folks in the front offices and the coaching well, staff those calls too. saying like he said it went over like the Hindenburg is the way he said. Listen, so anytime that you have change especially something this significant to people's yeah. lives, right? It's yes. to the calendar. It's to the time of year where they get to see their family and do the activities and go on vacations. You're going to get pushback from certain people, yeah. the staff members as much as anyone. Right. I mean, coaches, if you're thinking about this intellectually, there's definitely a case to be made that you can teach better in a unbroken environment. And you're not spending the first couple of weeks of training camp reinstalling things and reviewing them. You would just constantly build dennis allen was on yesterday's show mm -hmm. and i asked him about you know reconfiguring and taking the ota on field work of the spring removing it from the spring and making it um jammed all into mid to late june into july into training camp he said he was into the idea of removing the five week period right. from mid june to late july that there there's nothing you well, got think about, nothing. Think about this there's no other sport where you train to get in peak physical condition and you're practicing, not in pads, but you're practicing. You've been to OTA mini camp practices. They are full speed, just not full contact. There's no other sport where you go ramp up, ramp up, ramp up. Okay, now everybody go on vacation for five weeks and then we're going to go right back into it. So you saw back in 2020 in the COVID year, you know, there was no preseason that year. There were no OTAs. That was the... There were great memos, as you remember at that time, about like you could spend this amount of money on gym equipment for your players. You could ma mail them like free weights or a peloton bike or whatever and you but it was only up to a certain amount so it wasn't a cap <laughs> violation i mean wild stuff but they brought him back and because there was no preseason it was this much more extended ramp up period and mm -hmm. there definitely was feedback from players that they liked that not so much the no preseason games and that was it, also it was, probably born out of creating your own bubble too right so you get them in right and they didn't have to leave the they, bubble they you had only to go stay. to and from the hotel to the facility and come back so then in the past few years here, they have extended the ramp up period. But we're talking about going from two days before pads to like four now, where, as you know, back together weekend, that's always timed up to be the fifth day of camp because that's when you can put on pads. So the thinking is if the players want a safer off season, minimize soft tissue injuries, um, the longer the ramp up, there's a correlation. They, they've talked to athletic trainers and doctors and everybody else. They believe there's a correlation here between limiting those types of injuries yes maybe even limiting some of the achilles tears and other things if you just have a consistent ramp up period so the nflpa's proposal which they're still working on but they've been going out to the clubs they always do facility visits they send their liaisons to, to all the team facilities they've been explaining it to players the feedback has been mostly positive i would anticipate within the next month or so they're going to formally propose this it's got to go through the executive committee and the board of representatives with the union before it even goes to the league but I believe that will be proposed. It'll be sometime between the middle of June and the first week in July will be their proposed time that players come back. You'll still be able to do classroom work in the spring, virtually. You know, you can go through all the installs. So no April uh, off? No off-season off strength and conditioning program. Again, all this is, this is all outside of the scope of the collective bargaining agreement. Right. So the league would have to agree to whatever this is. And it's not as if they just go, okay, yeah, it looks good, and they approve it. There could be all kinds of twists and turns and horse trading on different types of things. But short version would be you have virtual classroom work. You know, your rookie class, you can probably get them in the building to meet everybody the weekend after still. Right. But you would have sometime in the summer – which is normally the time everyone's going away exactly. in the middle of June, which is the pushback for five, six weeks. Right. And it's going to be the pushback for some of the veteran players too. The 4th of July is a big, a big deal. So many people, it's family reunions. It's going back to your hometown. It's taking different types of vacations. That's going to be a point of contention, but the young players are going, you know, whatever. Like we don't, we don't know it. We don't have kids. We're not on the school calendar, right? right. You know, <laughs> and they're used to having a different rhythm in, in college. Anyway, you also have to remember this, if and when we go to the 18 game schedule, and it's probably a when, you're probably adding a second buy. So now you've got a 20 week regular season instead of an 18 week regular season, which only recently replaced the 17 week regular season. If your regular season starts Labor Day weekend, if they move that up a week to put the Super Bowl on President's Day weekend, all of a sudden your off season time, your time to get away is shrinking anyway. Right. You're going out and you got to be back in the building in mid April. So the thinking is okay, instead of having it be all right, you get a two month break then two months of work, then another six-week break, 
Or what if we just have it be a solid four to five month break and then you come back and you have this long ramp up period? So a lot of those OTA style things, the strength and conditioning, the you know routes on air, practice on the field, and then the OTA, the non-padded practices, those would encompass like those first six weeks. And then you would go around August 1st into a traditional training camp, which is kind of how it is right now. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.